Welcome back to the second video in my lesson on how to play the piano for bass players. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the key of G major and the major 251 in that key. So in the first lesson, we looked at the key of C major, which was just all the white notes from C up to C. The key of G major is a bit different. We now have a black note and it's F sharp. So it's the same concept, G, A, B, C, D, E, but when we get to F, we're not playing F, we're playing F sharp. And we need to keep this in mind for all of our chords as well. So when we're playing chords, like G major, we're playing every other note. Okay, when we move up, we've got to make sure when we get to any note that has an F in it, that we're actually playing an F sharp. Okay, and you'll see what this means as we go. So for our 2-5-1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we'll play the second note. This will make our A minor 7 chord. It's the same concept that we did with the first lesson. We'll play every other white note. Now for our 5 chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that will be D7. And we've got to pay attention to the F sharp. So D, go past E, don't play F. We're in the key of G now. Play F sharp. A and C. So that's our 5 chord and our 1 chord. G, B, D, not F, F sharp. In the first lesson, our, our five chord was G7, which had the F natural, but we want a G major seven here, so we make it an F sharp as per the key. Okay, so just to run those over again, A minor seven, A, C, E, and G, D7, D, F sharp, A, and C, and G major seven. G, B, D, and F sharp. And we can use the same trick that we used in the first lesson, where we take the top two notes of the minor seven chord down to get to the five chord. Okay, once again, keep in mind, when we go to an F, we're going to an F sharp. So the E goes down to a D, G goes down to an F sharp this time. And there's our five chord. And the same thing to go from the five chord to the one chord, we move the bottom two notes down G, the A goes down to a G, and the C goes down to a B. And there's our G major 7. So let's practice that a little bit. A minor 7. D7. G major 7. And just like in the first lesson, we can practice it with a bass line, with some low bass notes. And really listening to hear how the chords sound together. This is a chord progression you'll play thousands and thousands of times. So it's really good to get it in your ear and just really know how it sounds. Okay, so that'll do it for this lesson. Um, in the next lesson, we're going to look at the key of D major. And so I'll talk to you then.